Hey everybody, welcome to Joe's Kitchen Capers. So I've been MIA the last couple of weeks. We are still, or I am still in the phase four elimination protocol, but I actually had a couple of crappy weeks, or particularly last week, so I did a post. Um, during that period, I have progressed and tr I've transitioned onto phase three. Uh, so I had the three days without the drops and now I am phase four and testing food. So um, I think I spoke last time I had was getting awful headaches. I actually got flattened with a migraine and for some sort of reason my back flared up and I was a bit disappointed that I had to seek medical help for that. But that's something it's not really food re all food related for me because i have had surgery and i've got the screws and the plates in place so i've had that surgery so it's not always food that causes my inflammation i actually think i had my darling mother-in-law who you might have seen on one of my videos here and she was very unwell and just having to get her up and down off seats and that I think had a big, big impact on me. However, I'm over that, I'm into phase four. Um, my first day of testing, I started testing ghee. I tested that firstly because I was hanging out for a bulletproof coffee, which was one of my favorite things in life. Uh, and I can use ghee in that, and I can also use it for cooking and um, cooking beautiful roast veggies and roast chicken and things like that. So I've tested very well with that, no problem at all. I moved on to salmon, which is another safe food for me, so that hasn't been a problem. And today I am testing sweet potato, because that's a vegetable that we do use a lot of. So, you know, as I said earlier in my previous uh, video diaries, this round has really been quite different for me. I thought I was just going to drop a couple of kilos, it was going to be very quick. But as we know, life likes to send us curveballs, and I'm still on track. I'm really happy um, now that all these symptoms are starting to calm down, and it's just a case of retesting, doing it slowly, making sure you just keep an eye on your body, test any reactions and just go take it slowly and take it a day at a time and enjoy how great you're feeling. And I felt so good today, I went out and bought myself a pair of new shoes and look at these little beauties, I thought I'd share them with you because they are just so fun and I feel like being a little bit fun at the moment because I am really happy with my achievement and I think we all deserve a pat on the back that people and the results everyone's having and sharing on the Facebook page is fantastic and I just think you're all doing a fantastic job. So even though I had these headaches and these symptoms during um, that phase two period, the reason I decided to stop the drops and transition to phase three was I was starting to feel that I looked very gaunt. Um, I know I, I was still a wee bit headachey, but I thought that I'd actually reached my set point. I just decided that I'd reached that point and to go much further was just going to be too much. And uh, that's where I'm at. I'll continue all my testing and just be happy to with my results. And I just encourage you all to stay strong. It's I know it's a hard protocol to do, but you feel so fantastic at the end. And I've been going shopping and buying new clothes and that for me is a big thing because it's really never been something that I've enjoyed. Not because of my weight, I'm, I'm just not a shopper. I'd rather actually go to one of my beautiful organic food shops or to a farmer's market. I get a lot more pleasure from that but I'm finding that I love clothing now so um, my husband better look out because 
that bank balance might be getting a bit of hitting. So just enjoy, enjoy the moment, enjoy the time that you're on the protocol and I'll see you soon. Bye.